Whew. Early bird gets the win. Yeah. I've been up for three hours. Why do you just look at your fing wrist like you had a watch, bro? It's a fing analogy. What are you talking about? They obviously know that. It's, I know there's not a fing. What do you mean? Time is a concept, man. Created by humans. <laughs> Don't start this <laughs> shit today, bro. Anyways, all right. I guess we're just getting right into this thing, bro. We're gonna be showing you guys what we've been eating on the cut. Or help me out here, man. Help me out. Hey, I'm not gonna help you out if you keep screaming in my ear. My eardrums are literally are so numb because of you. You're this close. Help me out. <laughs> Shut up. Bro. Uh, I didn't even finish that meal though. That shit was, was nasty. Bro, look at this man. G, he's so handsome. G, you're looking breedable, boy. We need to breed him. To get a little pat going. You're just talking good about your boy and you're gonna chew our fingers? I was just telling him how good of a boy you were and now you're nibbling on my finger, boy. Anyways, yeah, so we're getting shredded. First time ever, Trent Twins. Yeah, I know we get a little chubby here and there. Well, right now, but the last- You've been cutting for like, what, two weeks? I mean, not cutting, I'm still, we still eat like six meals. No, I'm don't eat what we used to, so technically we're in a calorie that, deficit. All right, yeah, don't argue with me here. Anyways, I'm so, just saying, I have no, I mean, it's full. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, essentially we're gonna be competing in some bodybuilding. When you look at old school bodybuilding, like 1980s through like the 2000s, like, those physiques are unreal, bro. Like, they still had a small waist, big as shit. Flex Wheeler. Put the him. onions down, man. Put the onions down. Put them down. I can't do shit, guys. I can't do shit. I can't even eat my own fucking onions. Start cooking? I'm starving. Shut up. Just shut up, man. I'm sorry. I want to fucking clean a little bit so we don't fucking look like disgusting pigs. Never been shredded in my life. And sometimes, uh, you know, when you bulk for too long, the <clears throat> insulin sensitivity starts to go down. It's harder to put on weight because your body's not able to use all those carbs and it just becomes pointless. So then you have to cut back down to, you know, regulate that. Like, this is one of the worst stages because I haven't really lost any body fat, just mainly fucking glycogen. This is a yes pan. Breakfast. <laughs> Bro, you gotta wash it out. Oh, no, no. Breakfast includes 275 grams of egg whites. These are egg beaters. It gives it a yellow flavor. Egg beaters texture. are 100 times better than fucking They're egg fluffier. whites. fluffier. Two whole eggs to the mix to get them essential aminos. And get out of here. My shit gonna be a nice little omelet with the griddle. We also get um, 80 grams of oats or 60 grams of rice flour. And that's our carb source. So we get like a well-balanced. Our diet is like completely comprised by our coach, Kyle. He doesn't give us calories, we just weigh everything out. We're eating six times a day to maximize our body's fucking potential to uh, <clears throat> metabolize and absorb the nutrients. Some fruit for digestion, antioxidant, and then your carbs, and then the protein, and then your fats, and the two eggs. And essentially, yeah, it's well-rounded breakfast. This shit too good, bro. Nah, bro. If you're not looking at your plate, bro, you don't want this shit. Straight up. We're gonna be bulking during like the winter. Cause I love winter, but last winter, we were eating crumble cookie, like boxes of crumble cookie every fucking three days. Panda Express, oh, Wendy's, man. Baconators, and just lifting heavy ass weight. I love that shit. But that's what it takes to be a strong motherfucker. I usually just smash my food to get to shovel it in my face, bro. You know, I'd be playing or watching YouTube and shit. I'm on food. Yeah. So this is the pre-workout meal. Yeah, we got what we got going on here. You don't want any fats before the gym because that shit slows your digestion down. Mm -hmm. Glycogen is the main source of energy. We got ants. We got fucking ants everywhere. This Airbnb. I'm honestly shit. not fucking surprised, man. With us. Fuck. They're literally invading my shit, bro. They're I got ants my in fucking my fucking pants, man. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Hang on, that's not on the meal plan. 
Well, actually, I had a banana, but uh, this shit is fucking amazing. I ain't even gonna lie to you. 80 calories for eight fluid ounces, zero grams of fat, seven grams of carbs, and 11 grams of protein. I mean, but yeah, these meals here. I don't know if y'all ever seen them. My fucking mega fit. Cooking and fucking going to the grocery store. It's a, it's a huge waste of time. It's mega it's shit. <laughs> so I'm gonna just start buying mega fit. Literally. Cause motherfuckers <laughs> cannot cook. We don't do dishes. I'm losing my mind having to cook six meals a day and have the meat to supply that shit. Um so bro, yeah. you, you speak Japanese. <laughs> All this mustard got a motherfucking seeing tunnel vision. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> mustard <laughs> fucking ants everywhere. Mikey's not gonna get high blood pressure from gear. It's gonna be from his an insane intake of fucking mustard. Some nice choco, chocolatey choc choc milk. <laughs> That's crazy. Are they those muffins? No, they didn't give us any time. They got the bumble. You know, C bum be eating these on prep and shit. Here it goes, right here, the famous bumble. And let me tell you, that shit, that shit pretty bummy. It's, a, <laughs> it's really a prep meal, like there's not much to it. It's literally just beef and fucking noodle. Um, so, it's pretty plain, but that's what you need. We're gonna uh, euphoric ass lift in that fucking Gold's today. About to check it out first time. Gold's Venice is the original Gold's Vent. Gold's Venice is the original Gold Gym. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be me, 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 we all start out equal. Little blobs of blood and muscle. It's a setup of awesome potential. Most people never develop that potential. I knew early on, I was not most people. Because if you're willing to do the work, you can have anything. That's what makes the USFA great. When it started, America was just a handful of scrawny colonies. Now, it's the most buff, pumped up country on the planet. That's pretty rad, huh? Where's the shit? Where was Arnold training at, bro? Where where the fuck is that spot? I walked around the whole building. I don't see that gritty ass, rusty ass weights. The fucking kettlebells and shit. What the fuck is this, man? This ain't the gold gym I know, man. Shit, gold gym Detroit is fucking better than this. It's got a boxing ring in that bitch. Right when you walk in, like, throw hands, bro. Like, shit. Mike used to work there. Let him know, Mike. Yeah, he used to work like, gym in Detroit. It's nothing special to you. <laughs> I mean, this ain't where Arnold was training. This isn't where Tom Platt's, all the Golden Era bodybuilders was training, bro. Nah, the, the men, they came in here. Mm -hmm. They came mm -hmm. in here with one purpose, bro. They wanted to be better than the person next to them. Your entire competition, you're a pro bodybuilder. Everybody's working under the same roof. It's like Tom Platt's, Platt's is from Michigan, like us. He literally moved to Venice with no money, 17 years old. And that, that's what it took, bro. You had to be in the same scene as them. But nowadays, you get fucking TikTok. You got all the social media bullshit. So if you ever hear the only competition is the man in the mirror, yourself, yeah, you're competing against your body dysmorphia because it's telling you you look fucking small. Smaller than the person next to you. What more I want to be better. I want to be better than that person that I'm looking in the mirror. And whoever else is in the same fucking mirror, I want to be better, bigger, stronger than them. You know what I'm saying? Human nature that has never changed. We only battle over woman resources and land. Okay. Things haven't changed for thousands of years. They may have got more intricate. We may have two or more genders now. <laughs> uh, it's pretty much the fucking same. What are you, bro? Transsexual? Fucking transsexual. We got we're about to do some like Jay Cutler type back and leg day. Uh, we're gonna do some heavy RDLs. Get them. We gotta get our hamstrings up. Mikey's got some dog ass hamstrings. I'm lacking. And then we're gonna do some heavy T bar rows. So uh, we're gonna get a little classic with it. Zane right above us, bro. Frank.
go. Yes, sir. Come on, sir. Fix it up. Come on, sir. Take that stretch. Yeah. Yeah. Don't try to lie. Tell me where have you been all the night. that tension there and just fucking skip that strat. Go into every workout and fucking PR on something. Rep, intensity, it doesn't fucking matter, man. Wait. Just find a way to get better. Do that back. What are you looking? Come on. I'm a weak, I'm a weak bitch. No, you're not. Fucking stay in there. Yeah. There it is. Come on. Yeah. That's it, that's it. Fuck yeah. Nice. One more and then take two of them. Come on, baby, let's go. Let's go now. Take it, Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Wrap this shit out. There's the guy boy. Right? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's it, come on. You ain't get that spiel for no reason, buddy. Oh, yeah. Come on. That's it, give me that drop. Oh, yeah, we're working. Let's go, Mike. Come on, baby, let's go. That's it, that's it. Up this out here, come on. There it is, come on. Up, come on, up. Let's get it. What's up, Mike? Boys banging their weapons upon their shield. Battle awaits. Many will die. 
but their stories will be told for generations. Across this sea awaits wonder. Many of you will die, but your legendary tales will be told for generations. <sighs> Children will tell the stories of the battle that will take place here. Men will fear your name when they hear it upon their eardrums. Women and children will take heed upon this legend. For this is the legend. The legend of Iron. We will fight for you to the end. So this tale will be told for generations. It will foster many great warriors and leave many men into battle. You will die today, but be born tomorrow in history. <laughs> <laughs> they just off the ship, off the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fireballs coming, catapulting. <laughs> Holy shit! Women, <laughs> plunder, <laughs> lands, unconsumable treasures. Many will die, but many stories will be told about your legendary battle. <laughs> you may die today, but you will live forever. <laughs> against anyone. It's just that the world feels so, so wonderful right now. Throughout heaven and earth, I alone am the honored one. Chris lost our pull-up challenge, so now he's cooking and he's gonna clean the fucking dishes. Bro, don't tell yeah, him. Don't say it like that, bro. That's disrespectful. Yeah, bitch, it is, because he fucking lost. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Jack Cameron, yeah. Alright, it's better than the other one, bro. Yeah. It's better than the other one. Jack Cameron, man, aka Giggler. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Got some rice, some pineapple chicken. Oh my. Bro, on your oh my god! What? On your fucking pineapple? You're fucking sick. That is sick name. Sweet and sour, buddy. I mean, your plan's pretty basic, you know. You got your fucking clean carbs. Then you got your meats, chicken, and beef, and fucking egg. Pretty basic. That motherfucker, Sam Saluk, yeah. You see his he changing his diet now after he was getting fucking roasted for having the worst diet. That's how me and Mikey used to eat. And then my coach got a hold of me. Food. Like, it's just something you gotta do, bro. It's better on your digestive. 
your like fucking organs and it's just your blood work everything yeah i love beef bro mm -hmm. that red meat make me feel I anabolic love me some, i love me some cows bro it makes me feel anabolic bro when i eat red meat like i don't know what it is nah but i think all the sodium and caffeine is gonna kill me though yeah i drink so much sodium and caffeine if I die, it's because all the mustard and, ca and caffeinated drinks and pre-workout I consume. Whew, fuck. I need some veggies. Yeah. Straight to the bicep. <sighs> so, this is my last meal. It's just beef. 90-10. And then veggies, no carbs before bed. I'm sad. I love beef. I ain't gonna act like I'm not eating back-to-back -back meals right now because I had to. We got back late from the gym, and I was so hungry that I had to add it. Like this is 15 minutes later than my last meal I just ate. But I'm trying to get this video done, and I got shit to do. I don't even want the veggies. Why? I don't even want them. I don't even like them anymore. Yeah. I have my greens powder already. You a bitch. That's the key. Digestion. Mm-hmm. And I getting your pipes clogged up. Bro, you got so much mustard, your pipes are fucking clogged to the max. Shit, son. I already gave him like half, some of the rice I wasn't allowed to eat that came in the package and fucking pineapple. And he's still acting like this. Go. <laughs> hey, go. Keep on going. Go. Keep it going to the five, uh, three feet over that way. That no. this small ass fucking. I'm gonna get the tax collector on you, boy. I'm gonna get the debt collector, boy. Oh boy, no, you can't be doing that, boy. Oh that boy. Mm -hmm. You don't gotta take it on the floor. You could just eat it. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Bro, a new name every Get in there, Schnog. Dude, do, do not let Schnog eat that. Stop. I will eat that in the morning. I just can't do it. I can never eat a pepper again. I started eating them like apples, and now I just can't eat them anymore.